Good evening and thank you for joining us for ABC 7 at 6. I'm Eric Elkin and I'm Stephanie Valle. We begin in the ABC 7 Alert Center with that breaking news today. A federal judge blocking Title 42, the controversial rule that has allowed US authorities to expel migrants who crossed into the US. While the rule was drafted by the Trump administration during the COVID-19 pandemic, the Biden administration has relied heavily on it to manage the increase of migrants at the border. District Judge Emmett Sullivan in Washington, D.C. found the Title 42 order to be, quote, arbitrary and capricious and in violation of the Administrative Procedure Act. The ruling comes as hundreds of migrants, primarily from Venezuela, are south of the border waiting to come into the U.S. We're keeping an eye on what is taking place just across the border. ABC 7's Heriberto Perez is live from the U.S.-Mexico border in Juarez to tell us more about how the migrants there are reacting to the news. Eric, Stephanie, I'm here between the migrant camp in Ciudad Juarez, and as you can see behind, there's still Border Patrol agents. And joining me today is Jose Leal. He's from Venezuela. Jose, thank you very much for having us today. Well, now that the U.S. federal judge blocked Title 42, what are you, what were your first thoughts? ¿Qué pensaste cuando el juez federal de Estados Unidos bloqueó el Título 42? Bueno, en realidad me alegré mucho porque en realidad tenemos una esperanza, pues. Tenemos una esperanza de que el presidente Biden eh, se manifieste y, y nos dé la luz verde, porque en realidad muchos de los que estamos aquí queremos pasar correctamente, no queremos pasar eh, por encima de nadie ni nada, sino que nos den la luz verde para pasar hacia los Estados Unidos. And guys, Jose is telling me right now that they still have hope to cross. They want to cross the, the correct way to the U.S. They still hope that President Biden might give them a chance. Jose, now with this, have you thought about crossing to the U.S. as for now? ¿Has pensado en cruzar a los Estados Unidos cuando anunciaron esto? No, en realidad no he pensado cruzar porque, que, como le dije anteriormente, queremos que algo sea concreto y que de verdad nos den el pase libre, como quien dice. Guys, and he's telling me that he hasn't thought about crossing to the to the U.S. because they want to, as I mentioned before, they want to do the proper way of crossing. They want to organize themselves. Uh, Jose, one last question. I want to ask you, uh, what is your biggest fear? What is your biggest concern about this situation? ¿Qué es lo que te preocupa más? ¿Cuál es tu mayor miedo con respecto a esta situación? El mayor miedo ahorita mismo de todos nosotros que estamos aquí es el frío. La baja temperatura y hay muchos niños en realidad que están en riesgo. Eh, incluso la, la, las personas de Ciudad Juárez nos dicen que eh, hasta la nieve puede caer en los últimos, en los, en los próximos tres días que vienen ahorita. Okay, and Jose is telling me, guys, uh, lastly, that their biggest concern here is the cold temperatures. They have children here, they have women, and of course, because of the Juarez city told them that it might snow in the next couple of days. We'll continue updating you as this situation develops on both sides of the border. But for right now, reporting from Ciudad Juarez, Heriberto Perez, ABC7. Yeah, low temperatures overnight, uh, Eddie, uh, dipping down into the 30s. We'll have more on the forecast uh, with Doppler Dave in just a moment. But first, lawmakers have also shared their thoughts on the court's decision decision to block Title 42. El Paso Congresswoman Veronica Escobar issuing a statement saying in part, quote, the only way to reform what's happening at the border is to create a system where there truly are legal pathways and only Congress can do that. In the absence of legislation, we will continue to see migrants making the dangerous journey, desperately attempting to enter our country with the help of human traffickers, exacerbating inhumane conditions and further stressing law enforcement and border communities. Also, Governor Greg Abbott's reaction to the decision saying, quote, this will further signal to cartels, human smugglers and immigrants that the border is wide open, inciting more violence and lawlessness. ABC 7 has reached out to Border Patrol to learn more about how the decision will affect their response. And we did not hear back yet in time for this newscast. But Stephanie, this is all such a fluid situation. They're probably still also trying to figure out what all of this means. Exactly, Eric. And